Hi guys, I'm Shmi and welcome back to the channel during this mad, mad, mad week. So you might have seen that I've just taken delivery of my AMG GTR, I think in some style with Nico Rosberg joining me, which was the most epic day ever. Then I've been to have it protected at Topaz, been to MV World Brooklands to have a go on the track, learn to slide it a little bit. And today the AMG adventure is continuing because I'm at the circuit Paul Ricard in the south of France with a nice line up of GT coupes behind me but that's not what I'm here for. Today I'm going to be driving the race version of my new car, the AMG GT4 car which is currently in the pit lane so let's head through and check out what I'm going to be driving today. This week is ridiculous! Before we get through to the pit lane, just a moment actually to talk about this little lineup right here, the three AMG GT coupes. So you've got the GTC 50th anniversary edition on the end, I think 500 of those in total on the AMG GTC. Next to that, the GTS in the wonderful solar beam yellow, and then the regular GT2. To complete the lineup of the coupes, there's also a GTR to go and see in the pit lane now, but that's not a bad way to arrive here, is it? So let's head straight through and take Take a look at all of this. I can't believe I'm here today. This is going to be amazing. Walking through, I can already see it, just poking out there at the end of the pit box into the pit lane. That's the car that I am going to be driving that we're going to take a look at in a moment. Just look at that thing being cleaned up from the previous run, the factory car, but my word, that is my car on complete steroids. And I'm going to experience it here at Paul Ricard, which is this legendary, epic, epic track. Such a cool place to drive. And there we go, there is the AMG GTR in Green Hell Magno up at the other end as well. Crazy machine, but this, my word. The GT4 car has gone out to do some photography laps over lunch and when it gets back in I'm going to have a proper look at it and show you around and show you how bonkers it is on the inside before later on I actually drive the thing. But firstly, with the GTR just parked up here, come and have a look. There's something I've noticed slightly different to mine in that the adjustable rear wing has been raked into the highest downforce position, so pivoted slightly forwards to give more downforce and grip. Um, obviously mine is in the stock setup, but we're gonna be jumping into this car for two laps with Thomas Jaeger before going out in the GT4, although I can just hear it coming right now. So when it comes in, we'll take a look. Doesn't that just look pure menacing? And the sound it makes. The big brother to well, the little brother that's not quite so little really, is it? The GTR is a pretty spectacular machine in its own right. So we'll head up and check that out. Okay, so here it is. Let's take a little walk around and I'm gonna tell you how this compares to the road going GTR. It is literally the sister. It shares the engine, the four litre bi-turbo V8, which in maximum capability here has 510 horsepower. So 585 in the road car, but with balance of power, that configuration changes slightly. Obviously the car has to meet GT4 homologations. So body panels wise, it's actually all the same as the road car, but you can tell there is an extended front splitter. There is a giant rear wing and wait until you see the inside of this car, but it's distinctly AMG GTR, of course. There's some canards here and I love these lights. When the car was coming towards me just then, those lights looked super cool. It's running on slick tires, naturally, and this is a piece of design work I really like. Study that graphic, that layout of those five holes that you can see through the blade, and then look at the AMG logo. Very cool, neat, 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 neat touch there. Coming around to the rear, the huge rear wing, all very adjustable. The car's on adjustable suspension and set up naturally, but the diffuser, very similar to the road car. The tips at the side with the carbon fiber caps over the top. Again, all the, the bumpers representing the road car sister. And then let's come have a look at the interior. Now this is the customer racing version of the car, so it's very easily configurable. The driver is sat inside a fixed carbon cell all around them with pads that you can take out and change. The pedal box can move. Look at that steering wheel, if you can actually even really call that a wheel. That is super cool. 
In here, we've got an 11 stage traction control. So the drift mode or AMG traction control settings on the road car have nine stages, but here we've got our traction control on the far side, ABS on the nearer side. Many, many different things you can configure and change. It's got a different gearbox, so no longer the seven speed double clutch that the road car has. It's got a proper sequential racing gearbox. So clutch to pull away, but other than that, not so much. Inside a cage, all the safety features that you're used to from a GT3 car. It is basically pure mental. Crazy, crazy thing. Just have a look back here. Just <laughs> Bonkers stuff, lots of stuff. Very, very, very serious thing, the tow, tow hooks all around. So, this is going to be fairly incredible, but first up is a jump into the GTR to go around and see what the circuit's like. So, here we Hi. are, GTR time, how are you? Nice <laughs> to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, sighting laps and learning a little bit, right? Yeah, I think um, it's a very good track here at Le Castellet. And uh, yeah, just yeah. for you to, to learn the track a little bit, we go with the Mercedes AMG GTR, mm -hmm. and later on you'll be in the GT4. Sounds good to me. Touch the car a little bit and to prepare the exit here. Yeah. Because always after the, the corner, we want to carry the speed. Um, so it's important to slow in, fast out, and yep. not pushing too much on the end. Second one, about 100 meters. overwhelming there's a lot to take in and think about yeah. but now the excitement is I guess becoming very real yeah. looking forward to driving this thing later on you have many laps so it's always good to start slow yeah yeah and then to improve lap by lap for sure. you get a feel for the car and for the grip and so on um, yeah I mean the Mercedes AMG GTR is, is a, a great sports car and you'll see the GT4 with a slick tire handles even better so yeah uh, will be even more exciting. Brilliant, thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Cheers. <laughs> We're back in the pit lane, the GT4 is back in the pit lane, my helmet is ready, I think I'm ready. I'm gonna jump inside, get a quick introduction to the car on the inside the controls, and then I'm gonna be out on my own to drive out on poor Ricard with the AMG GT4. Let's go. Well, it's very easy to change the seat fitment. So. Okay then, so, stepping in. Yeah, that's better. That's better huh? So here we go then, out onto the track. Listen to the noise of this thing. I'm gonna take it very easy on my outlap right now just to get some familiarization with the track and make sure I know exactly where I'm going because this is a very complicated one. Yeah, it's already quite confusing. You've got the sea of blue and stripes to have to explore. He says as he doesn't break anywhere nearly tight enough for that corner. Okay, so I'm on my first time lap and 
and I clearly have a lot to learn. Jumping very much in at the deep end here. It's a long circuit, it's a complicated circuit, and it's also a very fast circuit, which is why it has these chicanes. But this car is immensely powerful. I'm trying to learn everything as I go and work this out. Work out the scale of it. Oh. But just the noise. It's a deep rumble. I put down 200 k's. I can clearly get away with braking way, 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 way later than I am, but I've got a lot to learn. A lot to learn. apex here. Oh, I'm a bit wide in the apex. Oh well. Straight line. Up to 225 or so down the main straight. That's quick. And the downshift, well I downshifted too early, but... the way, use the curb and the dip to help get around the corner, on the brakes, firm on the brakes, massive stopping power, oh, and around we go, cling tight to the inside curb, and there we go, okay, so I have a lot take it. That was pretty uh, intense and challenging. My word, this requires some skill. It's very, very, very potent. So first stint down, into gear. Let's go out for stint number two. Here we go. So I've made my seating position a little bit higher, which will help my visibility slightly, because I was struggling to see too much forwards. So, off we go. The beast is unleashed. Stopping power is phenomenal. When you put on the anchors, this thing just pulls down with speed. 
speed so quickly. driving because I'm concentrating so much. I have a huge amount to learn about how to drive something like this and use it properly. I mean, I know I shift gear too much, but I'm trying to take in everything at once. The track, the car, making a video, the whole lot. But this, it's so loud, it's savagely loud, it's crazy, and it just feels, it just grips and grips and grips and grips and grips, and then you turn it even tighter, and like this, it's still gripping, and occasionally it lets the back out, and you slide it around, you know, I've not been playing around too much with traction settings, but this feels like very much, you know, the real deal, this is a proper, proper out and out crazy man race car. And I'm... Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> Seriously, this thing's just insane. Just utterly insane. Proper GT4 race car. The race version of my road car. Oh. I'm a sweltering mess in here, but a mess of excitement and sheer smiles from the craziness of this experience. Wow. Just freaking wow. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Do it a bit more gently than that. Into neutral. And come to a stop. Wow.
I've just taken a moment to get my feet back on the ground. The next driver is out in the GT4. Actually, it's coming past right now. That sound is so, so epic. Now to think a little bit about it, I'm not gonna lie, that was a significant step up for me. Quite a crazy thing to be driving. There are similarities to the GTR, of course, you feel that. It's not too, I guess, intimidating, but how much grip and how it sticks will take some getting used to, for me having mostly driven road cars to so jump into something like that. But I do feel like a bit more time, a, a testing, a couple of days testing it, you would get there completely and be able to properly glue that thing around, around corners. And then you come to a track like this, the Paul Ricard, 3.6 miles long, a good number of corners, 14, 15 corners or so. A lot to learn, very much at the deep end. It's super flat, everywhere's just those blue stripes. So it's quite hard to know where you are and what exactly you're doing, but as an experience, my goodness, what a crazy, dramatic, involving, insane thing to be driving. Just mental, just absolutely mental. I would love to spend some more time with it. Just imagine what it would be like racing one of those in a GT4 race series. My goodness, that was cool. Well, the MG GT4 is still blasting around, but I've wandered back over to these two that are here now just to take a quick little look. I love that solar beam color so much, and I think yellow is probably gonna have to be the first wrap color for my GTR in due course, but taking today in has really rounded out an unbelievable AMG themed period of content. I think there'll probably be more, maybe more very, very soon, but for this week, this has just been an absolute dream for me. Collecting my car, being joined by Nico, coming down today to drive the GT4, everything else that you've seen along the way. What an epic adventure this has started being with the GTR. And there's gonna be plenty more, so make sure you're subscribed. Click the little bell as well down below if you'd like to get notifications of all of the latest videos as soon as they are posted to see more cool stuff like this. Anyway, thanks again, everyone. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. And I will catch up with you again very, very soon. Cheers. Oh, just the noise of the GT4. Cool. Bye. <laughs>